Oh yes, the curse of Christmas is upon us again. It is uh, the 10th of November. This is my first mention of Christmas. I try to avoid it at all costs. I mean, I've got some bad memories of Christmas, to be honest. It's always a pretty stressful time at our place. There's always people trying to have too much fun with not enough cooperation going on. Everyone wants to be, you know, this embodiment of Christmas cheer. It ends up being just a big family bun fight. But, you know, we probably need counselling after it. But you know what? I think the thing that would really help would be if we outsourced all the work. If we could simply just walk into the place, sit down, stuff our faces, drink up, have the fight, and then leave. And apparently there's a whole bunch of services now where you can outsource everything. Your tree, the decoration, the presents to someone who actually, I was going to say cares, but <laughs> actually has some expertise. And Heather Gibson is a co-founder of Finer Details, Concierge and Organisation Services. Good afternoon, Heather. Good afternoon. You must be getting busy. But can I ask you first, though, do you like your men in speedos? Uh, not particularly. <laughs> no, no. I think, do you think women are in a minority on that one? Uh, I don't really know. I've not really put an awful lot of thought into it before, so. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking of it till this morning, I have to say. I guess the, the David Hasselhoff factor is, is to blame here, isn't it? All those men who still see themselves as David Hasselhoff <laughs> on the beach. Anyway, I'm never a fan of that oh, team anyway. Okay, so. don't hassle the hoff. Let's go back to Christmas. Um, you must be getting busy now. Yes, we are. Mm, what's happening? Absolutely. Um, just getting a lot of inquiries about people wanting to get organised for the festive season, whether it be um, you know, gift buying and organising their house, decluttering, um, just general inquiries. So, because it is. A, sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, and our regular clients have, have also started to throw the inevitable list our way. So, And when did you start? I mean, uh, like, for instance, our executive producer, Nick Alviani, his mother, puts, his mother, I should say, puts up the Christmas tree in October. They start wow. thinking about it in October. That surely is a record. It surely yeah, it's is. it's probably a bit early. I it mean, is. It's probably but... just been the last couple of weeks that, you know, things have started to move. And I guess people see Christmas as it's a lot of work, particularly it always falls to, you know, one or the other of the parents and so forth. And, you know, it ends, ends up one parent says, I did everything, you did nothing. Uh, so it can lead to some bitterness and unpleasantness. I know in our yeah. household anyway. So do you notice that? Um, don't generally get too involved with the, the whole family side. Generally, it is one person that will hand us the, the list and um, send through the inquiries of um, what they require. So um, we don't really sort of get too involved with the whole demographic of the family. Probably a good idea. It can only, yes. it can only, end, only end in tears, I'd suggest. But, yes. but tell me, so what's the service you offer? Uh, well, we've got a personal concierge and professional organising service. So our personal concierge is um, we do run errands. We source and um, supervise trades and services. Um, sometimes people want to get the backyard looking nice or the house painted or um, the air conditioner serviced, anything like that for the, the coming season. And, of course, we do um, gift buying. Um, we take um, corporate gifts, deliver corporate gifts. Some people just like that extra personal touch added to things um, and yeah everything from buying and decorating the tree to filling your fridge full of the food and beverage whatever it is that you need yeah and I guess that as I say it would be taking a lot of the stress away from Christmas because it has become there's a lot of pressure on people now to to have that Christmas cheer and you know dress up in the elf outfit and all that kind of stuff you know well it's more the um, I think the, the queues and the car park rage and all that sort of thing it, it's not an enjoyable thing for them to go and do if you know, the oh. shops were empty and they could get a park first time. They might um, be a little bit less stressed about it, but obviously we can go and shop, you know, most times of the day and we don't have to go at the busiest time, so it's uh, a lot less stressful for us. Yeah. So can I ask you, your own Christmas, is it, is it a nightmare? Do you, do, you, do you put the last bit of effort and, and thought into yours? Everyone else comes no. first? <laughs> no, not really. We um, generally do a family thing where everyone just um, rocks up and um, provides, you know, a little bit each and makes it easy for the person to host. So, um, yeah. That's very good indeed. Works that well. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Have, I hope you have a great Christmas. That sounds ridiculous in November to say it, but I guess we're, <laughs> we're now in the, in the tractor beam of Yule Tide. Anyway. Well, I hope you don't see too many more Speedos. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. That is Not a worry. Heather Gibson, co-founder of Finer Details, Concierge and Organisation Services on the outsourcing of the Christmas Nightmare.